Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Computer Videos. This is just a short one, uh, just a little bit of advice. I've seen a couple videos recently and we need to have a talk. So mostly what I wanted to kind of discuss is the methodology that I see people using different tools um, as they're building their image for an emulator. And I just wanted to share a tiny bit of my personal sort of experience and a little bit of advice. And hopefully this will help people to not make small mistakes now that might be big mistakes later. Okay, maybe mistake is kind of misleading. Instead, maybe it's just sort of decisions now that might make things more difficult later if you decide to move beyond emulation. And what I'm specifically talking about is the methodology by which people create their images in Disk Jockey for use in emulators like Basilisk 2, QEMU, or Sheepshaver. Let's just move over to the bench and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. When you launch a Disk Jockey, um, you get a bunch of different options of stuff that you, um, you know, you're going to do to go ahead and create your image. But there are people that keep picking this here and don't do that. You do not want to do that. Do not ever do that. There is no reason to do that. Instead, you need to pick Blue Scuzzy. And here's why. It's not a brand preference. It's nothing like that. But if you ever intend to one day take your virtualized machine into the real world on a real machine, rather than reinvent the wheel later, just pick Blue Scuzzy, and here's why. If you take a look at the uh, the actual image creation stuff, it's going to go through. It's going to put a partition out there, but it's also going to add all of the appropriate disk drivers that sit behind the scenes that makes your drive image actually bootable. And I'll repeat that again. It includes all of the drivers that sit behind the scenes that makes your disk image actually bootable. Macintosh has used disk drivers, what? Yes, there is a low level driver that sits behind the scenes on your drive that basically contains information about how to boot. And if you don't have it, you can't do it. So if you're one of these people that just by instinct keeps picking this completely blank thing that does not put any of those drivers on it, you need to stop. That's it. Just do that and then don't do the other thing because the other thing, it's just causing you more grief later. Bit ring. I've already created my image and I want to move the files over to a different drive. Yes, you can do that. It's totally fine. Just use Disk Jockey to make a new image that is set up to be Blue Scuzzy and then mount that inside your emulator and copy the contents of your borked. Basilisk 2 Sheep Shaver image over to it. At that point, you'll have a newly created image that has all your old data, but actually has the drivers where it's able to boot. At that point, you can give it an appropriate file name and boot. And now you've joined everybody else in Meatspace with your fun Macintosh shenanigans. Have fun!